In this video from the studiofiles.com, we're going to talk about the smart tool, also known as the super tool to some people, and we're going to talk about the edit modes in Pro Tools. Let's talk about the smart tool. You can access it by clicking this button right here or by clicking F6, F7, and F8 on your keyboard. The smart tool is really cool because it's actually all your tools all at once, and it just depends on where you put your mouse. So let's take this kick drum sample here. If I put my mouse on the edge of it, notice the trim tool is selected. And with that, I can trim the edge. If I put my mouse in the top half of the waveform, I get the selector tool. If I put my mouse in the bottom half of the waveform, I get the grabber tool, which I can move with. Or if I double click, I can rename. Let's move it back. The other cool thing about the smart tool is that if you put your cursor in the upper corner of either side, you can make a fade automatically without having to highlight. See that? It's a very useful tool. You have to get used to it a little bit because you have to remember where to put your mouse to get the right tool, but it's really fast once you get used to it. Plus, if you're using single zoom like we showed you in the video with F5, you can do one zoom and then immediately it'll switch back to the super tool. Let's talk about the different edit modes. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. There's four different edit modes, and actually within grid mode, there's two more. Let's talk about shuffle first. Shuffle mode shuffles the audio. All, all Pro Tools groups pretty much do what they say. So with shuffle mode, if I move an audio region, it's going to shuffle positions with the one after it. Notice how those two switched. I'm going to shuffle them back. It's very useful if you want to keep all your audio waveforms together. Let's talk about spot mode. Spot mode, although it's mostly used in picture, it's very, very cool to put audio regions exactly where you want. Watch what happens when I click on a region. The spot dialog box opens. Now you can tell Pro Tools where to put this region based on minutes and seconds, bars and beats, samples, things like that. And you can spot it exactly where you want. You won't use this too often if you're tracking bands or doing virtual instruments, but it's a really, really useful tool to have. Next mode is slip mode. Slip mode is kind of like shuffle mode because it's mainly used for moving audio around, but there's, there's no grid involved and the waveforms don't shuffle. So watch what happens when I move this. There's no grid. I can move it wherever I want. Down from track to track. You're free to move and you can zoom way in and go down to the sample level in slip mode, no problem. You'll probably end up in slip mode most of the time. It's probably the most popular edit mode. Now let's talk about grid. There's actually two types of grid mode. If you select them here, there's absolute grid and there's relative grid. First, let's talk about absolute grid. With absolute grid, you have to set a grid amount, which is here. Right now I've got it on one quarter note. Let's change that. Let's put it to one sixteenth note. Now I notice the bars on my grid appeared. With grid mode, if you drag a waveform, it's going to lock to the grid. So notice the edge of this waveform here, it's going to lock into the grid. See that? Now with relative grid, it's a little bit different. Things will move within the grid, but they'll stay in their relative position. So take this waveform right here. Notice how this edge is not on the grid. Now if I moved it in grid mode, that edge would automatically be moved to the nearest grid point. But in relative grid, when you move it, it keeps its relative distance away from the grid. So that's an introduction to the smart tool, also known as the super tool, and the edit modes in Pro Tools.